After dispenser interface, select the down arrow and then fuel management systems. The first few choices will typically be left default. Select high product. Choose between level or volume. Then select the down arrow and select tanks. Select the number of tanks. This should correspond with the number of probes. Select tank 1 and name the tank. Again, trying to be as descriptive as possible while naming. When finished, select the check mark. Next, select Type. Incon offers several standard types that have pre programmed tank charts, but we typically recommend going with a special tank to have the most precise and accurate numbers. Check Yes if it's manifolded. Enter the number of product that will be associated with it. Delivery threshold, theft threshold, monthly and annual compliance are typically left default. Select probe. Select the probe channel. Here you can see where we named and let it probe north earlier. Select it. Then select the probe type. Tip to head, floats, and if it has a water float. Then enter the gradient and any product offsets that may be necessary. Next select Scald. Scald will need to be enabled if it's going to be used. The qualifier and diagnostic are left default. Select the down arrow and go to Limits. High product level limit. Since we chose level, it will be in centimeters. Return to the FMS menu when finished. And select special tanks. Select special one and select the shape. Choose between horizontal, vertical, or rectangular. Then enter the length and diameter and the end type. End type can be cylinder, one domed, or two domed ends. Then select the correction table. Enter the maximum number of points. We recommend at least 10 and then select data. Begin with the level. You should always start with a zero for level and zero for volume. And then we recommend proceeding in two to three inch segments up to at least 10 points and full capacity. Return to the FMS menu when done. Select manifolds if manifolds are present and then select products. Product 1 and then name the product. Then select the type. When finished, return to the FMS menu and select reconciliation or auto calibration if necessary. When completed, return back to the main setup.